That's right, today we are going to be rating and describing 35 gym exercises in one sentence or less, because basically every single person is trying to find a good gym routine for them in the fitness palace of love, and they go through every single exercise, and you can read about a dozen websites, and they're all going to tell you something different. So essentially I'm adding to that, but at least the status quo is intact. So we should start with bench press, which is good for your chest, but actually you should probably do incline because it's better. Squats, they will make you hate your life and want to cry. They're also probably the ultimate muscle builder. Deadlifts. There is no point to be alive if you can't do deadlift. There is no reason to be alive if you can't do deadlift. Shoulder presses. Everybody only does them because when they're staring in a mirror doing shoulder presses, their arms look really good. Lateral raises. Everybody does them, but nobody actually knows what lateral means, even though it basically means to the side. Lunges are like being tortured, but somehow at the end of your beating, You've benefited and will go through the whole thing again. Barbell Row see people take the row bit too literally and start doing this as if they're actually in a canoe. Machine cable flies, you may as well give up now before you've even started, because no matter what gym you go to, they're always going to be in use. Rear delt flies, and all you heard then was a bunch of gibberish, because I may as well be chatting in Swahili, because nobody works their rear delts. Calf raises, why bother, right? because calves are genetic anyway. Press-ups, and I tell you this, press-ups are more underrated than AEW Superstar Miro. Moves on to pull-ups, which are more underrated than press-ups. You should be doing pull-ups. Front raises, not actually needed, as said by TikTok a lot, which means TikTok was right, meaning you absolutely should do front raises. Leg press, and as much as you say otherwise, no, this is not an alternative for squats. You need to do both. Bus drivers. A good thing to do in the gym to have people look at you like you're insane. Dumbbell chest press is so simple and yet somehow in every single gym, somebody gets it wrong. Lat pull downs, probably more popular than a pre-workout. Glute raises, well we go back to TikTok on this one because that's why you do them because you just saw someone doing it on TikTok. Hamstring curls. What's a hamstring? Leg extensions are great, obviously, because the quad is essentially your entire leg. So let's just work that and nothing else. Bulgarian split squats. Nope. Hanging leg raises. <laughs> nope. Adductor and abductor work. Nope. The bicep curl. All you want to do in the gym, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The tricep pull down, what you would actually benefit if you want bigger arms doing it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The T-bar row. It seems easier than a normal row because it has a little bar attached to it. So you do that instead. Farmer's walks, the equivalent of having to live in the dentist chair. Dips, so good you should be treating them like a new child until you get lazy and forget to go low. Shrugs, when you're desperate for a nice old ego massage. Tricep kickback, so stupid because half the exercise doesn't even engage a tricep. The preacher curl, the best way to get peaks and freaks. Sit-ups, won't get you abs. Crunches, won't get you abs. Leg raises, won't get you abs. So that's that, utterly pointless. Don't know why I did it, goodbye.